Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, man. Check this out, man. Um, let me talk about uh, the riots that happened on the campus of, you know, California, Berkeley, UC Berkeley. Um, in case you guys don't know, uh, UC Berkeley is the next city over. Um, it's five minutes outside of Oakland. So, you know, pretty much you drive north going towards... Uh, Richmond, you will hit Berkeley. So, I mean, it's pretty much the next city over. So, I don't know a lot about Berkeley. Uh, I used to hang out at UC Berkeley. You know, they used to be uh, an underground arcade they used to have over there. And, you know, I used to go by um, Cal Berkeley gear because that was like my favorite college. You know, so um, that's the college where Aaron Rodgers came from and Marshawn Lynch, you know, and a couple of other people. You know, uh, Deshaun Jackson. So that's the college they came from. But uh, anyway, there was a student protest slash riot due to the fact that a guy that's affiliated with alt-right. Uh, I can't even pronounce the motherfucker's last name. His, I'll just call the dude Milo. And I'll give you a brief history of this dude. This dude is a known white supremacist. Not only is he a white supremacist, he's openly gay. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, apparently somebody invited him to speak. Now, in case you guys don't know, uh, Berkeley is a liberal area is um Berkeley has a rich history a lot of protests you know a lot of times the Black Panthers used to go out there to protest and they would have rallies out there so you know um you know Berkeley is known for a lot of things and apparently the students found out and all hell broke loose now uh the people that invited them were some uh group of Republicans because most of these uh outright people are republicans and white nationalists slash white supremacists let's just call them what they are they're just fucking racist so basically shit got out of hand people were arrested and you know uh you know the speech got canceled so like i said shout out to the people that uh protested props to you guys you know what I'm saying? It was, you know, uh, a joint effort. Everybody stopped this clown from coming to talk. He didn't need to talk. And people, it's funny how people, and this is what I mean, the hypocrisy of people like this dude. Now, these dudes, you know, get invited to places and they have rallies and speeches and shit. And most of the time, they don't run into no trouble. But then you get a guy like me who speak on the opposite of what these guys support, the racial injustice with black people and people of color. And then you get a lot of clowns giving you a lot of flack about this shit. So that's funny <laughs> that finally he got a taste of his own medicine. Finally, he went to the wrong place where they don't play that shit. OK. You know. So that's cool. But let me give you, like I say, a, a brief rundown of this dude. Um, he was the dude that was harassing, um, harassing the lady uh, from Ghostbusters, uh, Leslie Jones. But I'm going to get to Leslie Jones in a minute. He was harassing her on Twitter for no reason. And she tried to clap back a little bit. But, you know, a punk like him... You know, these type of dudes, they love to play that gay card shit or gay. You know, the, you know, they try to play that. Well, they can say whatever they want to say about somebody. But then if you say something back, then here they come. with, Oh, you don't. Oh, you're just attacking me because I'm gay and all that type of shit, which you don't have nothing to do with that. If you an asshole, you an asshole and he's an asshole and it doesn't matter what his sexual preference is. He's a fucking jerk. But it got to the point to where he was harassing her so much to where they banned him from Twitter. They kicked his ass off of Twitter. 
And, you know, shout out to Twitter. But here's the thing with Leslie Jones. Um, go back to some videos that I made uh, last year. Uh, go back to, I think, some of my, I think, May, June, July videos of 2016. Uh, uh, um, because I was making a video defending Leslie Jones and talking about how they typecast her in these movies where she's the so-called unattracted uh, black person or she's just street smart. You know, and I, I criticized and slammed that movie Ghostbusters for, you know, making the three white women like scientists and all that shit, but then they make her just some sidekick, some subway worker. You know, the tall blacks, you know, unattractive sidekick to, you know, the white women. And a lot of people saw that. And black people was trying to, you know, defend Leslie Jones. And Leslie Jones, you know, lashed out at the black community. You know, she attacked the black community for basically trying to speak up for her. So she told us, you know, fuck us. So then, you know, eventually she got her karma, you know, so when that guy got on her and then she was, you know, looking for sympathy, people was like, hey, we tried to help you and you told us, fuck you. But anyway, getting back to this dude, because he was harassing her so much, they kicked his ass off of, off of Twitter. And it's funny, due to history on this dude, he uh, is part of a tour. <laughs> The, and he had a tour where he was going, I guess, different places speaking on, uh, you know, white nationalism. Guess what his tour was called? He called his tour uh, Dangerous Faggot. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> I mean, that's, I mean, that's fucking self-explanatory right there. You can, you can look, view that terminology in a lot of different ways so i mean but anyway yeah just <laughs> yeah just <laughs> you could google the shit just google um just google uh ride in berkeley california and that dude's name will pop up and shit but anyway that's the intel on that motherfucker though so you know what i'm saying i just wanted to speak on the shit because you know i i told the troops you know, that I'll do a video about that, so, about that particular subject, but, that's all I got to say about that dude, I done wasted enough time talking about that piece of shit, anyway, I'm out.